All right, in this example, we want to simplify the expression using the quotient rule for radicals. So let's look at our example. We have the square root of 24x to the power of 9 divided by the square root of 3 times x to the power of 3. So what I like to do first, let's just put them all under one big radical because we know the quotient rule for radicals says that the square root of a over the square root of b equals square root of a over b. So, 24x to the power of 9 over 3x to the power of 3, all under one radical. Now what I like to do is split these up. What I mean by that is put the numbers under one radical and then put my x's in another radical. So we have 24 over 3 square root times x to the power of 9 over x to the power of 3. And that's the square root as well. Well, we know 24 over 3 equals 8. And we know x to the power of 9 over x to the power of 3. Knowing our rules of exponents, 9 minus 3 gives us x to the 6. Or so 4 times 2 times x to the 6. Now since 4 is a perfect square, we're just going to take the square root, 2. 2 is not, so we're going to leave the 2. Now we have x to the power of 6, that's a perfect square, so all of that times x to the power of 3. Now, to make this final, we want to just move our exponent to the front, so this gives us the answer of 2x to the power of 3 times the square root of 2. Alright, in this example we have the square root of 18x squared divided by 49. Now, this one we're going to do a little different. Let's, uh, let's split it up and take them apart this time because 49 is a perfect square so it'll be easier. So we have 18x squared over square root of 49. Now we know 18 isn't a perfect square, but 9 times 2 is 18, and 9 is a perfect square, so that's easy to work with. And we also have x squared, which is a perfect square, so we're not going to mess with that. Now all this is divided by the square root of 49, which we know is equal to 7. So, let's take our two perfect squares. 9 and x squared, and put those together. 9x squared, square root of 2, all over 7. Alright, we know the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of x squared is x. We can't do anything with that, so we leave it as it is. And then we leave it all over 7. That is your final answer.